Hey Aries, how's it going? Welcome to your mid-December general reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in an Aries, welcome all. I'm so grateful for your likes, shares, and subscribes. Um, I just can't say enough thank yous. I'm super, super grateful for everything, the donations, when y'all leave a nice comment. Just thank you. This is our last reading of the year, so I just really wanna make sure that y'all know how grateful I am for you. Um, Aries, as we always do, right after this general reading, I go and do your love reading for the mid-month. The love re reading is where we connect with the other person that you're dealing with in love right now. We get their side of things, how they're feeling towards you, what are they thinking about you. All that stuff that goes on in your relationship is in the love reading. That's the first link in the description box below. Also in the description box is my email, Instagram, I started a TikTok, all those other ways to connect with me on other social medias, that kind of stuff is also in the description box. And don't forget, I'm picking one of y'all's cards at the end of this reading. It could be you, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see who wins the pick a card this time. So, all right, Aries, let's get into this. All right, it's for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your mid-December general reading. All right, we've got three more shuffles. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Aries? All right, Aries, let's see what's going on. All right, I've got the Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yes, something to celebrate. It's really fun energy. It's like, yes, you, you might be hearing some good news right now or coming in soon that you wanna like, yes, I'm gonna go celebrate, call my friends, call my family and share my good news about something. Um, for some of you, Three of Cups can also be reunion. So that could be, you know, someone back in town, some family, friends, an old partner, something. And you're like, yes, so good to see you. Really, really exciting and fun energy. So good, good, good. All right, Spirit, what's going on with Aries? Ooh, like I said, I saw two, two, two. Y'all have the two of cups out first. Okay, some of you could be connecting with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but there's some love here for sure. We have the 10 of wands. What's going on with Aries? We have the four of cups. So there could be a connection right now. It could be a friend or two of cups. This could be anybody. This could be, you know, definitely a romantic situation. It could be a friend. It could be a coworker. Okay, something feels kind of heavy in this connection or, or maybe about this connection. Um, and you are feeling also four of cups about this. You're feeling, um, you're feeling a little bored. You're feeling a little... Like for some of you, if you're in a relationship, you don't feel like you are. You don't feel the excitement of it is what I feel, okay? You actually feel kind of weighed down by something. Six of Pentacles, beautiful. Let's get some more cards out. Aries. You have the Ten of Cups under your Ten of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. I love this. So your Ten of Cups is at the heart of your reading. You have, don't fall, you fell. You have the devil, okay? Some of you could be connecting with a Capricorn. It's that y'all are could be obsessed with each other. Because the ten, I'm like, why is this? And we're gonna clarify, obviously, because this is your row of like this, you and this person, six of pentacles. It's like, seems pretty balanced and even. I'm not really sure there's a burden here. Oh, devil, okay, because Sometimes this person, like they, I'm hearing they put it on a little strong, like they're a little, um, they lay it on thick for you, okay? You have the four of pentacles as well. Let's get this last card out for Aries. Page of cups. Okay, bottom of the deck, Aries, I'll have the two of wands, okay? So some of you could be thinking about making a move, moving on to something new, taking a new adventure, something like that, that you're initiating a new path. Also with the two of wands, it usually is about somebody else, like you and someone else coming into some type of contract or agreement. And what is right behind that is the four of wands, okay? So I feel like your two of wands is leading to the four of wands down the road. So I bet you in January, we're gonna see a lot more of four of wands and commitment kind of stuff. So anyways, for right now, for the mid-December, right in the middle of your reading, my loves, uh, Aries, y'all have the Ten of Cups. You have the Two of Cups and you have the Page of Cups here. There's a lot of 
like flirty, fun energy getting to, I feel like for some of you, you're getting to know somebody. I feel like you're a little put off by someone or in a situation in this two of cups because double energy, they sometimes come across, um, I don't mean double as in like they come across possessive or controlling. I feel like the two of you are a little attached at the hip, okay? And But, but for you, Aries, that's a little much. You need your independence. So that's kind of the vibe I'm feeling. Like someone, like a friend, your spouse, your partner, your love, whoever. Um, it can even be a coworker because you have the Six of Pentacles. So someone could be like constantly needing, hey, Aries, what do you think about this? Hey, I need your opinion about this. What do you think? Like they need your opinion or your attention. They need your advice. And you're great at giving that because you're Aries. You are the natural born leader. Yes, you. And so people come to you all the time. Like you just kind of have that energy naturally, that personality of like, you know, people just, you know, hey, and like you're, they just kind of open up their entire life to you. Like that's, that's, uh, you know, that's pretty normal for an Aries. So, but anyways, I feel like you, you and this person or whatever situation that you're in, you're seeking a little bit of independence from it because I feel like you're you're like, oh, I, went, I wanted to go run errands today, but they wanted to come with me. And it's like, I love them being around, but sometimes I just want a little bit of peace. I just want a little bit of quiet time because under your, you have the 10 of wands, the 10 of cups and the four of pentacles. So I do feel like this is representing your home, your foundation, Okay, I also feel uh, like you could delegate a little bit more uh, of the responsibilities. I feel like that's come up either last time or other couple readings where maybe I'll just need to delegate a little bit more um, and have a little bit more fun because you have the four of, of cups over here, two of pentacles, page of cups. You know, I feel like there are there's some things up in the air for you. Um, and spirit is saying just to approach whatever this is with um, with the page of cups energy, with fun, with love, and from a light-hearted type of energy. Okay, so I definitely feel a new direction happening, starting, taking off with you and somebody. Okay, now what that connection is is going to be different for me for each and every one of you. As these are general readings, just take what resonates and leave the rest. But let's break this down. Let's clarify these messages for Aries, please. Thank you, Spirit, for these divine messages. I mean, we could say this is about career and friendship, but I'm pretty sure this is about love, you guys. I'm pretty freaking sure this is about love. We're not even to the love reading yet. This is just your side of the story. We haven't even gotten to the other person's side yet. So you have the Ace of Cups and you have the Sun card here and the Six of Cups. Some of you have a beautiful, you know, loving relationship or about to be in a new relationship because of the Ace of Cups, which means new love, the happiest relationship, potentially uh, children with this person down the road, but also Six of Cups is that familiar energy of like, I've, you might have known this person for a long time. All right, let's look at your Two of Cups, Aries. Spirit, what's this Two of Cups for Aries? Hierophant and Page of Pentacles. I'm telling you, some of you could be connecting... Uh, with a Taurus, there's that Six of Cups again. So this could, for a lot of you, be representing someone from your past, like from way back when. So you're on your Two of Cups, you and your person, loving, caring, sweet energy, clarifying that y'all have the Page of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Either you or this other person are making little advances, little practical suggestions um, towards Hierophant, towards a higher commitment, towards taking this to, hey, we've just been kind of talking, kind of dating, kind of flirting with the idea of a couple things. Oh, now it's about to get serious. When the Hierophant comes in, this is like, I'm going to lock this down. I'm not going to let Aries get away from me. Or Aries, it could be you being like, <laughs> I'm not gonna let this person get away. Like you're gonna come. Like I, I just saw y'all as like a like I saw a wing. I like, was like, <laughs> no, I'm just gonna like scoop you into over here. You're with me. Like you're very serious about this. For some of you, you could already be married to this person um, or in a commitment with with somebody. And with that page of pentacles, y'all are thinking of investing in something. I'm picking up something like that as well. No. Do not like when that happens. Okay. Let's look at your 10 of wands. <laughs> That's this energy of like, sometimes it can mean an ending, but I don't really feel that here. I kind of just feel more of, I mean, we'll see because we're going to clarify it. 
but I kind of feel like your Ten of Wands is just like you have a lot of responsibility, a lot of duty, a lot of things that you put on your shoulders, okay? You don't always have to say yes to those Aries. What's this Ten of Wands? Page of Cups. They're saying you have two Page of Cups here. It's like they want you to drop the burden and just be like, uh, like I'm literally hearing like I'm calling out today. Like I'm just gonna call out, I'm just gonna have fun. I'm just gonna like pick up my kids early from school or like I know kids are at home mostly. But y'all know what I mean, it's that kind of vibe of like, no, I'm not dealing with any more responsibility. I really feel like for some of you Aries, you need a vacation. Uh, you have the Queen of Cups on your Ten of Wands. What else is this Ten of Wands for Aries? It could be, yeah, there's something about this connection. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But for a lot of you too, this could represent your relationship. Yeah, you have the Four of Wands here on your Ten of Wands. There is something a little, um, and you have the Hermit at the bottom of the deck. I don't think that you tell a lot of people that, that those of you that are already in a connection, in a solid connection with somebody, you feel, I kind of feel like you feel like you do all the work. Like you put in the effort, you make the plans, you do the chores, you, you do it all is what you feel like Aries. And you're just like, I love you, but this is exhausting. So I, you need to have that conversation. And I kind of feel like sometimes now that makes more sense, this four of cups, because sometimes in this, in this connection, it's like, you want it to grow. You want to continue to see it succeed. But for a lot of you, you're just like, sometimes I'm so overwhelmed with the responsibilities that I have that you just kind of, a four of cups, I just see him like kind of tapping out. You're just kind of like, sure, yeah, whatever you want. Yeah, that's great, it's great. Yeah, we'll have whatever for dinner. Like you, you're in it, you love, you care, but you, you, you like cooked, you did the dishes, you did the laundry, you went to the grocery store, you did, you did all of the things and this person is just like, okay, cool, thanks for dinner. Like, you know what I mean? It's not that drastic, but like that's kind of how it's coming across to me. So just be careful with that. Be careful who you're, you're committing with and make sure, because I, I do feel like it will come back into balance. So let's look at this four of cups where you're just like, I'm a little tapped out right now. What's this four of cups for Aries? Three of Pentacles. That's an area of study. For some of you, you're, um, who's this? Emperor. That's you. Yeah, and the Lover's card. So yeah, I really feel like you, you know, with the Four of Cups, I just feel like you're taking, you're proud of, of everything that you've been through and everything that you've accomplished. But I kind of feel like there's something also that you're, you're like studying or researching um, maybe with work and career, that's where you're feeling a little bit bored. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at this six of pentacles. Thank you, spirit. Uh, 10 of cups and the ace of pentacles. This is beautiful. You have two 10 of cups. You have two 10 of cups. That's 20 cups. That's a lot of love. That's like a lot of love. That's like a, like a lot of fulfillment, like a lot like really happy, like y'all should be da -da 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 -da, real happy with this. Yeah, I feel like you're feeling really, really good. There, You have some opportunity coming in right now, Aries, where you, there's balance in your life and there's fulfillment and there's love. And I love this Ace of Pentacles because I kind of feel like this puts you in a position to almost give back to your family or give back to those that you love. So it's like for some of you, maybe you're getting kind of like a bonus, like a holiday bonus, and that's gonna help you, um, I don't know, I feel like fill up some stockings or something like that, but I also feel like just, I'm hearing this is exactly what you needed. This is exactly what you needed, whatever. What is this Ace of Pentacles? What is this for Aries? The Magician, something that you created uh, in the Knight of Pentacles. This is whatever this is for you, this Ace of Pentacles, this could be a windfall of money, a new job, a new home, a new opportunity, a new person that you're connecting with. Like if this person, like if y'all are merging together and maybe buying a home or thinking about doing that in the future, obviously now there's two incomes instead of one, right? So that's very, very good. But with the magician on this, you've created this situation for yourself. You've brought this abundance into your experience. Very good, very good. All right, let's look at your 10 of cups right in the middle of your reading, so beautiful. Woo. 
Who is that? The Four of Swords. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Three of Swords. And we have the Death card. Okay, so this is a lot of healing right now. I feel like you've really, 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 this is telling me you've really had to let go of some heartbreak to find this inner happiness. That's what it is for a lot of you. Like whether you're with someone or not, like there is something right now, there's a very specific message for you, Aries. All of your, like some of you I'm hearing, like I have the Romance Angels deck right here and I'm literally seeing the card, it's time to release your ex or the energy of releasing your ex and, and all of your exes, like any past relationships, like all that kind of stuff, it really is time to lay it to rest, okay? And, and do the healing for it because you have the Four of Swords, which is telling me that you are praying for healing over like, it's like there's someone or a situation from your past that really rubbed you the wrong way um, that you just like, you want to completely forget that like, I, you're like saying, I wish I never met that person. I wish I never, you know what I mean? Because without them, and if I could just focus on what I have right now, I would feel really, really happy. So spirit does want you to get in the moment and feel happy um, about the transition that you've done or been through. What's this two of pentacles for Aries? The world card and there's another one and the two of wands so yeah you're trying to figure out this is a cycle so i feel like you're trying to contemplate if you want to continue a cycle with someone like with a job with a partner with this friend do i want to continue this with them or not do i want to continue with this with continue with this do i want to continue this with them or not is your question that you're asking yourselves is this something that i can manage in my day-to-day what is, why is the devil here for Aries? I told you, eight of wands. Y'all are literally obsessed with each other. Full card, leap of faith. Anything else on the devil here for Aries? Seven of pentacles. Yeah, y'all are making plans. Like, y'all cannot stop making plans. Six of cups. Yeah, y'all are maybe thinking about, ooh, y'all are making babies this month. Okay, that is what's happening for a lot of you. So yeah, y'all are very attached at the hip, you and this person. It could be also with the devil here and the seven of pentacles, this could be like a lot of money coming in, right? Where you're like, oh my gosh, I never want to let this go. I'm going to start a huge uh, savings account, like something like that's coming in. But I feel like if this is about a person, y'all are, y'all just blow up each other's phones constantly. Like, uh-huh, yeah, I know, uh-huh, yeah. And, and like seven of pentacles, six of cups, they are making plans, maybe about children, maybe taking vacations. Um, I'm, I heard uh, bed and breakfast. Okay, very good. Aries, four of pentacles. What's this four of pentacles for Aries? Three of cups. So yeah, there's a reunion in the home this month. There's, there's, there's reasons to celebrate right now in your home. And then page of cups. What is this for Aries? Oh, we got the strength card, star card, Leo, Aquarius. For some of you, we have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like there is, um, there's a relationship that's meant to endure for you. That's meant to, that's what I heard. There's a relationship or a connection that's meant to happen for you. But I feel like with the strength card showing up in that 10 of wands, I feel like there is something that for you, Aries, it's like, I have to endure something about this. So, um, so yeah, Aries, that is your reading. Let's do a final clarification really quick. Spirit, what is a final clarification for Aries? What an exciting reading. Lots of happiness, lots of, um, you know, opportunity, money coming in. You and someone are obsessed. Maybe you and your job, you're obsessed with your job. But for a lot of you, it's about someone like a best friend or maybe your partner. There is something a little heavy about a connection that you're in. So that is maybe some homework for you. But other than that, I would just honestly say spirit just says drop those responsibilities. You don't need to whatever. Clean the house again. You don't need to again. Just let someone else do it. Let someone else do it. Okay, what else do we have for Aries? Final message for Aries. We have the Four of Swords. It is time for you to rest and take some time off. This is a card of healing and of rest. Uh, anything else for Aries? I'm telling you, y'all just need to relax, relax, kick your feet up, and let people take care of you. Let, let your family, let your partner, let these people take care of you because you've been through quite, uh, quite a lot. So you have the Four of Swords. Who else do we have here? We have the Ace of Pentacles. Oh my God, and the Queen of Swords. See, y'all have y'all have the Ace of Pentacles twice. I am telling you. And with the Queen of Swords, I feel like 
could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius that you're dealing with, but I feel like this is you like asking for this opportunity and taking it. And all you have to do is just speak up and say, yeah, that's mine. It takes a little bit of effort on your part, but I feel like you're praying for something, you're praying for an opportunity, praying for that loan, praying for that, this big opportunity for something. And this Queen of Swords, is all they're saying all you have to do is ask. All you have to do is ask is what I'm hearing. So wow, really, really exciting. Really, really exciting, Aries. Okay, let's do your pick a card. Let's do your pick a card. I forgot to pull the, uh, I forgot to pull this one first. So my apologies. All right, where's my Aries person? Okay, here you are. All right, the person who wins the pick a card this time for Aries is Nicole Schlepper. Nicole Schlepper, you are my winner. Thank you uh, for being a subscriber. So Aries, uh, if you want me to pick your card next time for the surprise winner, pick a card reading, um, just make sure you're subscribed to this channel and just leave your name in the comment section down below and I might pick you next time. We'll have to see and wait for the next video. Um, and for the rest of you, thank you so much. That's the end of your reading. Um, I will see the rest of you either next time in January for next year for the readings there, or don't forget the love reading is in the extended. That's the other person that you're dealing with kind of point of view, what they're thinking of you, all that stuff. So I'll see y'all either in January or in the love reading. Thank you, Aries. I love y'all dearly and happy holidays, okay? All right, Nicole, this is for you. This is for Nicole Schlepper. She's an Aries. Thank you so much again, Nicole, for being a subscriber. I really, really appreciate that. All right, they're seeing three more. Spirit, what messages do we have for Nicole Schleffer? She's an Aries. This is for Nicole. Nicole, she's an Aries. Okay. We have the Hermit at the bottom of the deck. You could be connecting with a Virgo, possibly Nicole, but I feel like you're going through a spiritual awakening right now. I feel like you're, um, you might be in that phase of um, feeling a little isolated, feeling like I'm not really sure what's going on, but I really feel like you're, you're going through an awakening. Okay, Spirit, what do we have for Nicole? We have the Nine of Pentacles, beautiful, um, independent, financially free, like you don't need anyone to take care of you. Um, you know, you pay your own bills. You're looking very fabulous, very beautiful. Nice home, nice car, nice clothes. Um, but this, this is all self-made energy. Like you made this yourself. So congratulations, beautiful energy. What else do we have here for Nicole? She's an Aries. Nicole Schlepper. She's an Aries. Oh, oh, Nicole. <gasps> Nicole. Oh my God. You have the high priestess, which is like your intuition saying, mm -hmm, you know, that feeling, you know, those butterflies that we're giving you, you know, that thing that you're feeling. <laughs> You've got a partner. You got a lover. Could be a Gemini coming in possibly. But is this a new person or maybe uh, maybe for someone coming back, um, you have the Queen of Pentacles behind this. They could be an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, it doesn't matter. Uh, this person, they know your worth and you know your worth. You have new love coming in, Nicole. This is amazing and you know it, like you feel it. So I literally see you going from like, I'm fabulous, beautiful, single, single life, you know, made this beautiful life of my own. And then you feel, it's like you've been feeling it. You feel that divine partner coming in. I'm seeing that yin yang sign on her third eye. This is like your match. This is like where you're not, like in your weaknesses, this person has strengths there and same. Like wherever your person that you're coming into union with, wherever their, maybe their weaknesses are, are your strengths. You know what I mean? Like y'all really are gonna balance each other out. This is a divinely guided union. And with the Ace of Cups, this is love, baby. This is beautiful. Nicole, oh my God. This is beautiful, congratulations. So, um, and there's another yin yang symbol here. That's really catching my eye with you. Maybe that has some type of spe uh, special significance to you. Um, I love that symbol and I love, I love that energy, especially for love and relationship. It's like we match each other. So, okay, that's what I have for you, Nicole, and anyone else that's still here, thank you so much. I love y'all. Happy holidays, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.